Unfortunately for dinosaurs, online dating in the Mesozoic era wasn't that great. So just how did dinosaurs find a date? Finding love is hard, let alone finding evidence of love in fossilized form. What? Which is why dinosaur dating habits continue to baffle scientists. Wow. But that doesn't stop them having theories. Let's look at a few. For a successful relationship, it helps to have a lot in common. Like, oh, I don't know, being the same species? Some scientists think that the less brainy dinosaurs, like Stegosaurus, needed visual clues just to recognize their own kind. A distinctive double row of kite-shaped plates along the back ensured that mistakes like this were uncommon. So with the right species, it's time for some music to set the mood. Unfortunately, dinosaurs didn't have MP3 players. They didn't even have vinyl. But they did have Lambiosaurus. With Justin Bieber's entire back catalog unavailable 75 million years ago, this duck-billed hadrosaur had to sing its own love songs. A hollow bony crest acted as a resonance chamber, modifying any sound it made. And because each crest was unique, each lambiosaur had a unique song. As they reached breeding age, their voices deepened, meaning that a potential Barry White would stand out in the crowd. You know what I'm talking about. That's right, baby. I'm the lambiosaur of love. All very well, but if you look like a dog's dinner, you might as well end up as a dinner. But scientists think that even voracious predators like Velociraptor could be won over by a bit of feathered finery. Evidence of colorful tails, feathery arms, and downy skin has been found for other theropods too. Feathers may have evolved for showing off long before being used in flight. Although whether they use their feathers in provocative dances like the fan dance or the can-can is still a matter of much scientific debate. Finally, even if you've done everything right, your date will be short-lived if your breath stinks. Unfortunately, because of its short arms, Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't able to brush its teeth. A mouthful of rotting meat and foul-smelling bacteria probably ensured that most T-Rex dates didn't go the distance. Hey, that might explain the anger. Do you have any dating advice for dinosaurs? If so, let us know in the comments below.